Word Search by Poig. I know this isn't going to be the most thrilling review since it's just a word search game, but I'm going to try and keep this lively. But in the end, it really is the most basic game with just some options when you play it. First off, I need to say this was sent to me from the publisher, so I'm disclosing it like usual. And I've been kind of sick, and that's why my voice is a little off, so sorry about that. This is from the same company that made the really fun game Word Logic. I was expecting something of that quality, and while it does play solidly enough, it's strangely too basic even for them. This is the main, well, only part of the game. This large grid of letters, which you choose a topic, and they give you a list of words that correspond to that topic. You can find the word vertically, horizontally, diagonally, or even backwards. There are over 300 puzzles to solve. My main problem is the blandness of the game itself. It feels like a generic word search program. Why is it always the same size area for the word search? Why aren't there smaller ones? How about a number search? Okay, I know it goes against the word search part of this title, because since it needs letters? But number searches are a normal thing to see in a word search magazine. How about a super difficult one that uses all kinds of odd letters, where it's not just easy to find because there's only one V or Z on the board? All these puzzles felt like they had the same difficulty level. It truly feels like they made one program that made a word search and all you have to do is enter the words that you want to put in the puzzle and it made the program for you. In fact, I remember having this exact program back in the 80s. I went to a computer store which had five and a quarter floppy disks of shareware games and utilities and I put it in my 286 XT Packard Bell computer. I mean, it ran through a DOS program. It basically just said, how big you want the grid to be? What do you want the words to be? And then I printed it out on my dot matrix printer. And yes, I get that I'm incredibly old. Growing up, that's the kind of experiences I had. In fact, one of these days, I'm going to have to tell you guys a story on one of my other reviews. The adventure I had in a mud with my 2400 baud modem. Anyway, let me just say it was like the cheapest way to do it. That program at least let me decide the size of the board. This one doesn't even have that option. In fact, why not just let us make our own word searches with our own words? Or how about randomizing the board every time? So at least it's always replayable. The word searches itself were quite good for what it is. I love the sound of when it connected letters to the word. I love sounds that make you smile, and for me, that was it. I don't know why, it was just satisfying. There's also a multiplayer aspect to the game. A few people can join in at any time they want to help you find the words, or you can compete to see who finds the words the fastest. The Littlest and I were racing each other, and we both enjoyed it a lot. I did think it was a little unfair that he could steal words that I was starting to highlight if I wasn't fast enough, but I guess it just adds to the gameplay. There's also local multiplayer, if you have two switches and two copies of the game, and an online mode if you want to find someone to play with. You couldn't see what they were picking as a word until it actually happened. Unlike the multiplayer in the regular words, search, you can't steal words. This game has 13 tracks of background music for you to listen to. Some of the tracks are quite good, others you're going to want to mute immediately. Luckily, it's just an easy button push away, and they don't mute that lovely word found sound effect. You can use the touchscreen, which was obviously the fastest way to play, but using the controls was just as good, and I had no complaints with either way it was controlled. Word Search by Poig was a perfectly average game. It felt like it could have been way more compelling if they just kept evolving the idea. They stuck with one idea, and while they there was some really fun multiplayer action, I can't help feel that there was more they could have done. This company has shown me in the past that they can make really enjoyable games, as I loved Word Logic, and I liked this. But is that enough to recommend spending $7.99 on a word search simulator? No, I would say wait for it to go on sale. It's a really good game to play on a plane or a car ride if you're looking for a simple game to play. However, for what it is, it needs to be a little bit cheaper.